What's happening traders, Alex here, and today we're going to be creating multiple stock scanners using Finviz. So the goal of these scanners are going to be to find the best opportunities in the market. And to do that, we're going to be using our good tool, Finviz. So Finviz is a great tool because most of the features are completely free and you're going to be able to do exactly what we're doing today using the free version. If you're using the premium version, you're going to be able to also save your preset and not get all the ads that comes with it. I hope you guys are going to enjoy this video. If you do like and subscribe, also all the tools I'm using to day trade will be linked in the description. So if you're looking for broker, scanner, charts, or newsfeed, everything will be linked down below. So let's not waste any more time. Let's jump right in. So when you're on the website, the first thing you're going to need to do to access the screener is just click over here for screener. And we're going to be able to customize this section. Before doing that, the first thing we're going to do is look at a couple of charts to know what we're looking for. And over here, we're going to be looking for something that do exactly that. So that means the stock closed lower and it's gapping up with a lot of volume in the morning. You want to find stocks that are doing this kind of pattern because these are going to be really good opportunity with outlier volume. And what's important is finding stocks with a lot of volume and volatility. The second example we're going to have is going to be on Tesla. And this is going to be a similar example. So Tesla is not a small cap, but it's definitely a stock that has a lot of volatility. And we can see that it's really in play when we have these big gaps. So the stock gap from 1055 to 1120. And we can see that it had a really nice move after. Unfortunately, it sold off. So it did not sustain its move, but it definitely gave us a good opportunity to trade the stock and make money on it. So we're going to be looking for stock that create this type of pattern. So the stock is closing low and it's gapping up. So if we go back on Finviz and click on screener, the first thing we're going to be doing is look for stock that have a gap. So we're going to be looking for something up at least 4% after hour or pre-market. The reason why you want to be doing that is this is going to be a base measure of volatility. Normally stocks that are gapping up above 4% are going to have a catalyst so a news that goes with it but for now we're only going to look for stock on the technical level so the second measure we're going to look for is going to be volume so we're going to click on descriptive and go to volume so you want to be looking for stock over 500k in volume because we want to be eliminating a lot of stocks that are just not going to be relevant so sometimes something that's gapping up 50 percent but only trading two or three shares is going to be like a misprint or an error or just a stock you don't want to be trading so at least 500k in volume is a good baseline so now that we applied two filters we can see that we have 31 results i still feel like it's a bit too much so something else that's important is to look by market cap so right now we're going to be looking for stock with a larger market cap so something that you want to be over 300 million so now we can see that we have 16 results which is already so much better than 31 but we, i still feel that it's a little wide so i want to be a little bit more selective so over here, what I'm going to do is up the volume. So I'm going to up the volume so we have a little less. So now we have 15. And if I bring it up over 1 million, I'm going to have even less results. So something that I like to do after I created this filter and is just go to the snapshot section and look at what the results are. So because I have the premium version, it's showing me the intraday chart. But if you don't have it, it's going to show you the daily chart. Over here, we can see on the daily already the type of stock that they are. So this is a typical small cap that's been trending down that was gapping up on this day. This is a stock that's been in a consolidation for a long period of time and it's now breaking out. Over here, we can see this is GME. So it's pretty much in a downtrend and a positive catalyst. Something I like about this scan is you can see the news right under over here. So when we have a basic setting done, what we want to do is just save your scan. And we're going to save this one with the name of gap up scan. And we're just going to create save. So the second scan we're going to do is going to be a top gainer scan. So this scan is going to be more for an intraday or when you're looking at stock after hour to see what moved in the day. So we're going to be like looking for a stock that did trade a lot of volume and moved a lot intraday. The reason why you want to look for stocks like this is either to short them on the next day or to look for continuation if they're still looking strong. So some example of the setup that we're going to be looking for is going to be exactly this. So the stock moved down, then it moved up, closed pretty strong, and then it moved up the next day. If we're looking at Tesla once again, it's going to be pretty similar over here. So the stock had a really big rally and then it sold off the next day. So you're typically looking for multi-day setup or continuation setup. So stock closing strong and gapping up the next day stock closing strong and gapping down the next day or moving down the next day. So to do this, we're going to clear all these settings because it's not going to be exactly relevant to what we're looking for. And the first setting we're going to apply is going to be the volume one. So I'm going to be looking for stock over 10 million traded on the day. I'm looking for stock with high relative volume. So something over one, if something is at one, it's just that it traded the average volume over one, it traded more than its average volume. So anything that trades more than its average volume is not only going to have a little bit more volatility and 
and it's going to be a better stock to trade. So now we're going to go into technical and look for stock that change at least 6%. The reason why is anything that changed more than 6% intraday is normally a pretty big change. So 6% is a good base mark to start. The market is really hot. You might want to up this measure. And if the market is really slow, you might be, want to be putting it down. But overall, 6% is a good baseline. So now that we have our base setting dialed in, it's really going to be about preferences. So if ever you're looking for stock with smaller market cap, you're just gonna lower this measure. If you're looking for bigger market cap, you're just gonna up this measure. So this is gonna be completely to you. And after that, we're gonna do the exact same thing. So we're gonna go over here and we're gonna create a preset. So save screen. And after that, we can just go into snapshot like we did over here. Look at the five minute because you have the premium version and we can see the intraday. And you can look at stock if they're interesting very quickly. So over here, we can see that this stock, D-I-S-C-A, look really good, right? Big move up. And it closed pretty strong so this is something i'm going to be putting on my watch for the next day for either continuation or something like a reversal trade so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did like and subscribe let me know what you want to see next